Come on, boo. You gonna come in? Come on in. Come on, boo. You haven't been in this room in over four months. Look at Simba. He's looking underneath the day sofa. Simba's like, what's going on under there? Oh, who's smelling? Hey, hey, boo! Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It is 10.40 a.m. Everyone has had their breakfast, and Sammy was banging on the door, so I opened the door to see what was going on, and as soon as I opened it, she jumped the gate, so she's out. And then when she was out, Goldie wanted to come out. When, since Goldie was out, Nancy wanted to come out, Ziggy wanted to come out, and then finally Eva came out. So today it's five. Five Goldie girls, because it's all the girls, and Boo's here. And let me tell you what happened. So it was the first time Eva came out while Boo was out. And Boo was sitting right here. And Eva just like walked up here. But she wasn't even paying attention. Like she wasn't even paying attention to Boo. She had her back to him. Like I guess she didn't feel threatened by him at all. Because I'm standing here just thinking to myself. Well I hope Boo is okay with this. Because she was getting in his personal space. Boo doesn't like other cats in his personal space. And Eva was getting in his personal space and she had, his, she had her back to him. Maybe that's why he didn't feel threatened because she had her back to him. But I was like, oh my gosh, this is very interesting. Like Eva didn't even think about it. Like she gave no thought of Boo being a threat. So I thought that was interesting. But maybe it's just because she's been very sheltered because she has so many sisters and brothers that, you know, they've protected her. I don't know. Anyway, here's Boo. Um, the door to the bedroom is open. Splash is on top of the cat tower. Um, so the cats are free uh, to go wherever they want today. The door to the downstairs is shut. The door to the bathroom is shut. And the door to the kitten room is shut. So the cats are free to go wherever they want in my room, the living room, the dining room, or the kitchen. All the other doors are shut. My boat. Okay. Be nice, Nancy. Be nice, Nancy. Now, this morning, Boo got brushed with this brush. He got brushed with the regular brush, like the yellow the slicker brush that I use on the cats. But he also got brushed with this brush, and he loves this brush. Boo loves this brush because it reminds him of when he lived outside. And I used to train him with this brush. This was his first, like, touch was with the brush. This was before I could even pet him. He used to love this brush, and he still does, look. He's rubbing it. Boo, you got two arches in here you could rub up on. You don't have to rub up on that toy. And he likes a good scritch scratch with it. Like, he likes a good scrub. Boo loves a good scrub with this brush. He loves a good scrub with it. Good job, Boo. He likes me to scrub the sides of his neck. And his legs. Ooh, you're looking, you're looking kind of furry right now. You're looking very furry. Okay, good. Then we straighten him up. Then we make him look nice. First we scrub him up, and then we make him look nice. Right, Boo? Okay, good. Good, good, good. It's 2 p.m. I'm taking a work break. Here's Boo. He's been taking a nap here. Good boy, Boo. Here are three cats. So there's little Eva on the pillow. Ziggy on top of the sofa cushion. Sammy on the other sofa cushion. Here's Nancy. So the question is, where's Goldie? Here's Splash. Splashes on the bed. Everyone's like really, really quiet right now. I have no idea where Goldie is. Here's Ringo. Hey, Ringo. Here's Richard. Hey, Richard. I found Goldie. She was under the bed, but I just scared Splash. Now he's under here, too. Here's Goldie. She just came out from under the bed. <laughs> She's not too happy. I'm sorry, Goldie. Here's Stella and Simba. They're relaxing down here. It's quite cool down here. So I guess they're nice and warm in their round beds. It's 2.35 p.m. 
There's now three cats on top of those sofa cushions on the back. Little Eva's still on the pillow, but uh, Goldie has joined Ziggy up there. So it's Ziggy, Goldie, and Sammy on top. Boo, do you know how special you are, Boo? Boo, you are the only black cat in the house. Yeah, Sammy's a black cat also, but she's a tuxedo. And you're the only black cat. You got a little white on your belly, but you're the only black cat in the house, boo. That means you're very special and you're very important, right, boo? Sometimes I think boo is a little worried that, um, you know, he's not so special anymore because of the other cats and kittens. But I have to remind him he's very special. You're a special cat, boo. You're very special. Yeah. You're the only big black cat in the house. Sammy's a little tuxedo girl. She's a little tuxedo girl. You're a big black cat. See, now he's happy. Now he's stretching. You okay, Boo? Okay. It's 12.30 p.m. and here's Splash. He's relaxing on the bed. And I just let the girls out. They wanted to come out. Today it's uh, the Goldie girls. It's four of them. Goldie, Ziggy, Sammy, and Nancy. Nancy was the first one out, followed by, I think it was Ziggy, then Sammy, and Goldie. And they're walking around in the room, and Splash is like, what's going on here? Here's Boo. He's hanging out in his office. I was brushing him with the flea comb a little while ago. He's been doing some self-grooming today. Um, I gave him some rescue remedy for pets. I actually went to Whole Foods this morning and I bought more of that. And uh, the window's open just a little bit for him. And I don't know if you could see it here, but like on his leg, um, he's not just grooming his belly. Last time he was just grooming his belly. Uh, this time he's doing some grooming on like his legs so here's what I realized today. Today I realized that years ago when Boo had an anxiety issue every time I went on a trip, like even if I was going away overnight on a weekend, um, sometimes Boo would get anxiety and I took him to the vet for that and the vet could not find any um, like physical issue and that's when, you know, the vet suggested anxiety. I thought maybe he had a UTI or something uh, because of his symptoms. Um, but what I did notice was that when I gave him the CBD oil, um, that definitely um, took away his symptoms and he relaxed more. Um, so uh, what happened was every time that I went away after that for quite a while, I would make sure to give Boo some CBD oil in the few days leading up to my trip. And also, I had to make a very conscious effort to pretty much move almost in slow motion when I was getting ready. Because, you know, I'm the kind of person that likes to just do things quickly. It's like, I want to get things done. I want to be efficient. I want to get things done quickly. I just want to do it. And, you know, I'm kind of high energy in that respect. But that was making Boo nervous. So by me consciously like slowing down when I was getting ready versus just getting things done, um, that really helped him. And that is what I remembered today that I used to have to like really slow myself down when I was getting ready to go on a trip, you know, packing, getting all my stuff together. So I'm thinking I need to do that because, you know, I've been on a routine and a schedule with all the cats and the kittens and their room and everything. And, you know, every day I'm just trying to get a lot done and I just want to get it done. Like, I want to get all the cat stuff done so I can then do the other things that I need to do. You know, I have a job. I have work to do. I am editing videos. I am posting content on YouTube. I'm taking care of, like, a house and other things like that. So... That's when I realized, oh my gosh, so today I'm going to have to make a conscious effort to do things more slowly, right, Bo? So we're going to we're going to see if this experiment works. Uh I did not give him any CBD oil because I knew I was going to let the other cats out and I didn't know if Richard and Ringo were coming out. And I don't want Boo to be like on CBD if, you know, Richard's going to attack him or something. So 
So I'm just making a note and I'm documenting that today I remembered um, I need to start like moving more slowly around Boo and not rush around so much. Also, once again on this camera, he's looking so much browner than he does in person. It's kind of crazy. It's 12.40 p.m. Here's Splash. He's still on the bed. There's Simba. He's in the penthouse. And there's Nancy. She's in the cat tower. So Nancy is exactly like right in the middle between Splash and Simba. I think that's Goldie. Is that Goldie? So there's Splash. There's Goldie. There's Nancy. There's Simba. I have to laugh because Simba does not look too happy. He's like, what's going on over there? And Nancy's like kind of oblivious to everything. And there's Goldie. See, these kittens are not afraid of the other cats. I mean, if they are, it's, it's very little. They have very little fear of the other cats. It's 12.52 p.m. right now, and this is what I'm going to do. I just opened the door to Boo's room. The bottom gate is still in the door, and the top gate is still in the door. I always leave the top gate in the door just because it's easier just to leave it there, and I just duck to go in the door. But... I think what I'm going to do is just leave the door open. So the door to my room is open. The door to downstairs is shut. But if Stella, who's, a, who's the only cat downstairs, wanted to come upstairs, if she pushes the door, it will open. But the cats can't open it from this side. So it's like shut, but it's not really shut. Okay, Sammy? Um... But I think I'm going to just leave this door open and see what happens. I'm going to leave the bottom gate in just so I could hear a cat jumping. I mean, sometimes they're quiet. I won't be able to hear it from the other room. But something like that I could probably hear as long as I don't have, um, you know, audio playing. So Richard is really the wild card um, because, A, he attacked Splash the time Splash was out. But that was quite a while ago and B he tried attacking Stella underneath the kitchen door um, that was a little while ago and C because he's never been out um, with the other cats Ringo's been out with the other cats Eva's been out with the other cats Richard's the only one that hasn't right now Richard is underneath the day sofa and there's Ringo so I think Eva's underneath the day sofa and Richard's underneath the day sofa and there goes there goes Nancy. So if I keep everything open like this, then the, the cats can come in and out whenever they want. Can you see how much bigger Ringo is than Nancy? He's a lot bigger than she is. So right now, Boo is relaxing very comfortably in his office, like the cat tower near where I'm working in the dining room. You could come out. I just heard some hissing. And I looked and Goldie was on the bed with Splash, but Splash does not want anyone to be on the bed with him. So he was hissing and she got off. And there's Ziggy. Ziggy's now in the cat tower. I think they might be afraid to go to the top of the cat tower because maybe Simba's hissing and growling at them if they go to the top of the cat tower. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. So here's Ringo. He just jumped over the gate. Looks like he wants to run down the hall and into my room. Okay, so Ringo is under the bed and Splash is on top of the bed. And there's little Eva. Little Eva wanted to come out because Ringo came out. So right now the only one left in the room is Richard. He could stay in the room if he wants or he could come out. 
And here's Boo. Boo is looking very comfortable right now in his office. This cat tower is his office. And yeah, so I gave him two drops of the rescue remedy and half of a squeeze up. And he was still grooming himself. So then, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes later, I gave him two more drops of rescue remedy and the other half of the squeeze up. And he's been okay since then. Now rescue remedy is just flower essences. Um, it's not like a medication. It's not really like an herbal tincture or anything. It's just flowers. It's made from flowers. So, uh, and he only had four drops. So it should not affect him. It's not like CBD. If you have quite a bit of CBD, it could relax you to the point of, you know, maybe sleepiness or um, just sluggishness. You'll reactions might be slower than normal, but he's just on the rescue remedy. I don't know what's going on with this fish toy, but this morning Stella was laying with it. She might have been playing with it, but when I walked in the room, she was just laying with it. And now Nancy has it. There's Goldie. Goldie's tail's looking pretty big. I wonder if something scared her. And there's Splash. He's still right in the middle of the bed. Did you see his back? His back just rippled a little bit. I'm not going to walk in and freak him out or anything, but he's doing really good. Splash is doing so good right now, considering Ringo's underneath the bed. He went back under. He came out, then he went back under. Little Eva's walking around the room. Ziggy's still in the cat tower, and now Nancy's walking around the room. So Splash is doing really, really good. Here's Boo. Boo, you could take a nap if you want to, okay? Boo, take a nap, okay? You're okay. It's 4.15. I'm super zoomed in right now, so if this is shaky, that's why. And I don't even know who I'm looking at right now. Like, I just walked into the room, and I'm, like, looking at this, and I'm trying to figure out which cat this is. I think it's Simba. But it might not be. Like, I don't even know. So, that blanket that's sticking up behind his head is on is normally on top of the armor so that's why I'm thinking well Simba was up there in the penthouse maybe he came down and took the blanket with him but there's so many tabbies in the house right now like is it Richard I don't even know oh look it's Simba hello Simba how are you did you get kicked out of the penthouse did you get kicked out? Did Splash kick you out? Who kicked you out, Simba? There's Splash. Splash is in the penthouse. Did Splash kick you out? I'm sorry, Splash kicked you out. It is 6.35 p.m. and all the cats are officially together. I mean, I still have the bottom gate in, but everyone jumping over the gate. Um, Richard came out. That's Ringo right there, and I think that's Ziggy. Um, Richard's walking around in my bedroom because he's never been in that room before. And Simba's walking around. Stella came upstairs. Here's Boo. He just got some pets. Here's Stella. There's Goldie. There goes Richard. So far, so good. It was a nice, quiet day today. As far as the cats go, they were all sleeping for quite a while. So today was not a sunny day. It was kind of like a gray, um, just kind of like a yucky day. Um, it wasn't raining, but it felt like it was going to start raining any minute. So it was a good day for all the cats to relax. Boo is watching his room. I think he would really like to go into it. But um, I don't want him to go into that room until the cats are like out of it. Maybe if all the cats leave the room, I'll take Boo in there. I don't want there to be like a territory fight. That's, that's the issue. Hey, Ringo. How are you? You gonna come out? You wanna jump the fence? You gonna jump the gate? Come on, you could do it. You could jump the gate. You did it all day. Okay, so Ringo just jumped the gate. There's little Eva. 
Boo, you want to go in the room? You want to go in your room, Boo? Come on. Look at this. Simba's coming in the room. Sammy just came in the room. I don't mind if Sammy comes in because the cats have been with her. Come on, Boo. Come on, Boo. Come on. Come on in, Boo. Come on, Boo. You going to come in? Come on in. Come on, Boo. You haven't been in this room in over four months. Look at Simba. He's looking underneath the day sofa. Simba's like, what's going on under there? Oh, who's smelling? Hey, hey, Boo! Come here. Come here. I think that was Richard. Yeah. Richard, be nice to the cats. Come on, Boo. Come on. Come on, Boo. Come on in. Come on, Boo. Here. Okay, if you come in, I'm going to shut the door. Okay, Boo? Simba, you going to come in also? Come on in. I'm going to shut the door. It's just going to be the three of us. And Sammy, okay? Come on in. Come on in. Come on, Simba, in. Come on in. Simba, come on in. Come on, come on in. Come on in, hurry up, come on. Simba, hurry up and come in. Simba, come on in. Boo's scared. Come on, Boo. The problem is, here's the problem. If I open this, every cat in the house is gonna come running. Come on, Simba, look. Who wants this, come in. Come in here, come on. Sammy. Who's growling? So, Boo does not like other cats in his personal space. That's why if I keep Sammy a safe distance, I think I'm okay. Here, come here. Here. Okay, so. Did you hear that noise Simba just made? So, I got the door shut. Sammy's in here, Boo's in here, and Simba's in here. And they just had some of these snacks. There you go. No, Boo, what are you growling at Boo for? Simba's telling everyone he's a toughie. You a toughie, Simba? No, he says he's a toughie. Sammy's hiding. <laughs> Sammy's hiding under the day sofa over there. Okay, guys, ready? Now, I have to make sure that when I open the door to leave, the uh, the other cats, like the, all the kittens, are not on the other side. Because I don't want these two to be ambushed when they leave the room. Okay? Good? Now, Boo's favorite thing to do in this room is to look out the window. Sammy's watching. Alright, good job, guys. Good job. So, Boo is by the windows. I thought I had the camera recording, but I guess I didn't have uh, it on. I opened the window about a half inch. He came up here. Um, he's smelling all around the room because obviously there's a lot of stuff in this room that was not in it the last time Boo was in the room. Um, so he's just uh, investigating. Simba's in here too. And <laughs> he's making his growling noises. You okay, Boo? Checking things out? If I shut the big light off, then he can look out the window better, but I'm not going to do it right now. Watch out, Simba. Sammy's under there. Sammy's under there. You going to go by the window, too? Okay, you go by the window. Simba used to go by... Simba used to enjoy hanging out by this window also. Oh, there goes Boo. Okay. You okay, Bo? Oh, look at this. That's right, Simba used to love the top of this cat tower. Simba loved laying up there. Okay, guys? There goes Sammy. Sammy, you wanna walk on the wheel? 
You want to go on the wheel or you want to leave? You want to leave the room? Okay, you want to leave? You want to go? You want to leave? You want to go? <laughs> so it's just Boo and Simba. And I still have to scoop out the litter boxes and everything. I looked at Stella. Stella's just sitting in the middle of the living room floor. And she's pretty happy right there. You guys okay? Boo, you're going to go underneath there? You're going to look under there? You want to leave too? This is your room, Boo. You don't like your room anymore? Here. You want to hang out over here? He's kind of freaked out. He's like, what is all this stuff? I wonder if he's going to use the litter. He's like, this is all new. Usually Simba will use the litter. Like, usually he likes to christen it. And there goes Boo. Is Boo going to use it? Is he just smelling it? It's probably hard to see him because it's like black on black. And he's smelling it. He's getting a good... A good smell. You good, Boo? You good? You okay, Boo? No? You happy to be in your room or no? Boo's like, what is that wheel doing in here? You're gonna go on the wheel? Imagine, wouldn't it be great if Boo started running on the wheel? I just put this small light on so Boo can look outside for a while. Simba's underneath the day so far. I don't know what he's doing under there. And Boo smell in the air. Watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.